Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. What's up everyone it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber ladies and gentlemen and here we are guys back here again with another epic action figure review <laughs> today we have ravager yeah ravager look at this guy look at the size of this mofo he is freaking huge freaking huge uh of course this is the second uh, figure that I've reviewed from Resistance. Here is the last one I reviewed. This is the uh, Chimera. Not Chimera. One of you guys, uh, one of my subscribers actually corrected me in the uh, when I was reviewing this guy. Unfortunately, I call them Chimera throughout the entire review, but he goes by Chimera, which I should have known because every time I played the video game and I heard the name Chimera, it reminded me of Camaro. But uh, we're going to do a little bit of a comparison with Camara hybrid hybrid right here forgot the rest of his uh, name hybrid something um, <laughs> um, and yeah this guy is way way bigger uh, than this guy right here of course because his name is Ravenger so we're gonna put Camara uh, the hybrid over there uh, if you guys didn't see my last review of I already forgot his name too. <laughs> Horg! Horg! If you guys didn't see my last review of Horg, please check it out. Also, we're going to do some comparisons. I felt like I've already did some comparisons, but he's not fully out of the package. But this guy just looks amazing. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Resistance, um, it's one of the best video games, in my opinion, ever made. I used to play this all the freaking time, not only on PlayStation, but also on my PSP. So here's a little read-up on Ravenger, if you guys care to know. A story of Ravenger. Here is a little bit of a story. Go ahead and pause it, read it. Pause it, read it. And then here are all the other figures you can get from this wave, which I do believe I have. I think I have all of them. I have yet to review them. Oh, yeah, there we go. Chimera Advanced Hybrids. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, I'm so stupid. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out the package. Of course, I don't have my... Oh, yeah, I do have my scissors here. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm not going to fast forward through it because he doesn't look that bad. So it doesn't look like he's going to give me too much trouble. So let's take that out. Let's take that out. Slice that open. And cut this open. Maybe I should. <laughs> let's just let's just rip this baby open. Let's just cut it open. All right, there we go. I I wanted to save two minutes of YouTube time, but I was like, yeah, the hell with it. Actually, you know what? Yeah, he does look pretty tied up in there, but nonetheless, we're just gonna move forward. Here is some of the uh, advertisements. Uh, that's uh, DC. This is by DC Unlimited, for those who don't know. Um, there are some of these... I love these Ratchet and Clank future figures, man. They look really dope, man. I have to find them. I'm a big fan of Ratchet and Clank, and here are some of the other figures you can get. So Ravager already stands at 7 inches. Look, I like how they show that, the height. 7 inches, Steelhead, 6 inches, Nathan Hale with Swarmer, 5 inches, and then the Chimera... Uh, Camara hybrid, advanced hybrid, six inches. Okay, so let's take Ravager out of the box, man. 
I'm a really big fan of Resistance, and I never knew that they actually made these figures until I actually saw them for sale. I was like, what? They made Resistance action figures? And surprisingly, they're not by NECA, and surprisingly, they're not by McFarlane, which is crazy, man. Because McFarlane usually does all the video game figures, but um, being that this was in 2019, 2009, I don't think McFarlane had the license to do uh, the video game figures. I could be wrong. I can't remember. I know he. T I know he was. I know he did. Uh, what was it? Gears of War figures and and. Uh, but I think. I think resistance. The resistance figures were. I think before. Before those figures. If you guys know, let me know. Or maybe he just didn't have the license to do the figures for resistance. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go with that one. Oh, oh, and I missed one twisty tie right here. All right. So let's take out Ravager first, and we'll take a look at his base and his weapon in a minute. Dude, look at these. <laughs> look at these boots, man. Or legs, or whatever the hell you want to call them. Wow, man. Wow. Wow, wow, this guy is a big guy. He, he reminds me of Bane. Man. His knees do bend. I suggest warming them up before you bend them, but that's as far as they can go back. As you guys can see, he's wearing the LeBron's 2040. Look at these, man. Damn, dude, those... Those mechanical legs are awesome, dude. There's, I love the wiring too that goes that's from his belt and goes all the way up around his neck. That's really, really dope, dude. And there's the face. I love the faces to these uh, creatures, man. I love the triple eyes right there on the side of his head. There's his face, a face only a mother can love. Nice coloring, nice detail, man. For a 2009 figure, really, really dope. Wrist swivel, nothing in this wrist right here. His arms can bend. No 90 degree bend because this is an older figure. His arms can extend out about that much. He can kick forward, but is kind of hindered by his design. So that's pretty much all the articulation you're going to get with this guy. Love the way he looks, man. This is really unique. I've never seen anything quite like this guy. I just love the tubing, too. And it just kind of sits over the back of his neck. It's not glued or nothing. It just kind of sits over the back of his neck. Kind of reminds me of when you go to the 4th of July and they sell those things, those glow sticks, where you can wrap them around your body. <laughs> like he been to, he's been to the 4th of July party in hell. Let's celebrate, Satan. Very, very dope. Nothing at the bicep, no break. Ra waist swivel is non-existent. No torso swivel, no nothing. So you can't get him to twist, but you can get his head to move. It's not on a... Oh, well, yeah, it is on a ball joint, yeah. So, yeah, you can get him. His head into some poses. But very little articulation. He does have ankle articulation, believe it or not. Look at that. No, really, well, I guess it looks like these are not really sturdy because as you guys can see inside there, it looks like just a little plastic piece pole that's keeping them in place. But yeah, he does have some ankle movement going on. So that's pretty dope, guys. I like how clean these came out as well. Very, very nice, man. So he does come with this weapon right here that attaches to... The arm. This blade weapon right here that pegs in to this peg right here. That <laughs> damn dude. That just takes him up to a whole nother level. It would be nice if he had one on this side too, but I do like the plain look that he has. He's like a he reminds me of like uh the one of the zombie creatures from Resident Evil. But this can twist, so you can get it to maneuver. 
any which way you want to. You can have them this way, you can have it this way. It looks like a windshield wiper from a semi-truck. This way, it just depends, man. Very dope, man. I can't remember this guy from the video game. Very, very dope figure, though. So he comes with, if you're wondering, this plastic base that McFarlane is known for doing, but this is not McFarlane, this is DC. So there's the Resistance 2. Resistance 2, look at that, that's a nice, nice piece. And he does have one peg hole, so it pegs into here. It's They're kind of useless because they don't stand properly, especially him too, being that he's big and he's he's kind of off balance and plus his ankles are not sturdy, so... Yeah, he probably is better off not even using that, but just standing him by himself like this. He probably, yeah, he stands better without the stand. Okay, guys, so let's do some measurements, and then let's do some comparisons, shall we? So, uh, the box art said he stands about 7 inches. So, yeah, they are right. Fuck me. 7 inches. Well, actually, he's about 7 in... Seven and one eighth. So he's just, or actually, yeah, seven, seven and one eighth, just a little bit under seven and one fourth. So that's between seven inches and seven and a half inches. So he's a little bit taller than seven inches. So let's bring in the last figure that I reviewed of Horg. If you guys didn't see a review of this guy, check it out, man. Straight up masterpiece. But they go together very well, man. You know these uh, mutant earth uh, stand once the mutant earth figures they go with they they will go very very well next to these guys right here. So <laughs> it's like a match made in mutant hell. Then here is Crippler right there. You got <laughs> dude. <laughs> I just noticed uh, these names. So you got Horg the Dismantler. Ravenger, and then you got Crippler. <laughs> Dude. So, this guy wants to dismantle... This guy wants to dismantle you. This guy wants to ravage you. And then this guy wants to cripple you. And they all look like they can do it. So, there is Ravenger next to Crippler. Man, I have to admit, they go, to, they go together very, very well. You know, these Mutant Earth figures... Um, Man, they could be in a video game. I think, were they in a video game? I can't recall. I can't remember. Let's bring in one of my favorite figures in my entire collection. We have Tank from Quake 2 with Ravenger from Resistance 2. All of them go, to, all, all of them go together very, very well, man. And these Stan Winston figures, if you guys don't want to collect all of them, you can put them with your video game figures like this guy right here. And they go together very, very well. Let's put him with Chimera. Here is Chimera next to Ravenger. Man, these figures are dope, dude. Really, really dope. Lost Gems, man. That's, that's one of the reasons why I love having a YouTube channel, man. Because I love bringing attention to these figures that people have forgotten about. Everybody is so obsessed with new figures. And we've kind of forgotten about these Lost Gems, man. And, uh, man... It's just, it's too bad, you know, people have forgotten about these figures and the details that they were doing back then, you know, compared to some of these crappy figures that come out nowadays, man. Let me give you guys a better close-up look, detail, before I give you my rating of this guy and let you know what I make of him. There's the backs, the back of him right there. And, uh, yeah, he kind of has like a... Like a Killer Croc Bane combination vibe going on, man. Very, very dope, man. You know what? Before I end this video, I'm going to go ahead and break out Bane and Killer Croc. And then I'm going to give you my rating, guys. So before I give you my rating, let's do just a one more comparison before we end this video. Okay, so we have uh, Ravenger here next to Killer Croc and Bane from the Arkham, based on the Arkham video game, Batman Arkham video game. And I just want to show you the quick comparison of why I felt like he was the, 
a combination of Killer Croc and Bane is because he has a very, very similar look going on as far as the bottom half, the, the pants, rocking the pants and then the face too, and then the scales as well, the scales on the back, if you guys can see that. And then Bane with all these tubings going on right here. And if you guys didn't see a review of any of these figures, then uh, they are all... I just recently did a review of actually that Killer Croc and the Bane too, so... But yeah, they have a very, very similar look going on, man. These are the kind of figures that I like, man, that I love collecting, dude. Just straight, gritty, gruesome, horrible, horrible, horrific figures. <laughs> okay, let me give you my rating. Enough tomfoolery. Let's go ahead and give you my rating of this Ravenger, man. I think he's dope. Um, I really, really like him. The articulation, kind of like... Being that this is a DC figure, I mean, it is DC Unlimited, these are DC figures, it has the same freaking articulation, man. And these, and, and, I, and I can tell that they are done by the same people, dude. Uh, it's all DC, this is all DC right here, so it's done by the same company. Um, with that being said, listen, the beautiful detail... The articul articulation on all three of these figures that you see in front of you are crap. But the detail make more than makes up for the lack of articulation. And this guy right here is no exception, man. He is done beautifully, man. Beautifully. Back in the day, we didn't care about articulation, man. Give us a cool action figure, a cool bad guy, and that's all that mattered. As long as you can lift his leg up, as long as you can grab the good guy by the throat, and throw them across the room. That's all we needed. So, I'm going to give this guy a solid 8. I think he's really, really dope. I can't go any higher, but I really dig this figure. 8 out of 10 is not bad, man. He is really, really, really nice. I highly recommend this figure, man. If you love cool, creepy stuff, especially if you're a fan of Resistance, like I am, man. If you've never played Resistance, I highly recommend that video game. Play it. Play it. Oh yeah, his legs go back pretty far as well. I didn't show you, I didn't show you guys that as well. So his legs actually go back further than they go back forward. Dope figure, man. There's nothing more I can say. Eight out of ten from your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. Go cop it! And there you guys have it. If you liked the little review, you know what to do. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. You know all that good stuff. I just want to thank all my beautiful people for watching this review. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.